All right, you guys, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. Welcome back to an update on all things Major Kiefer Zeeks. Welcome to the Palms. Welcome to Shirley. Uh, and welcome to the Shirley City. No, not the Shirley. Uh, uh, that's the fucking library. Um, look, guys, I'm sitting outside the library. The library is uh, basically my local post office, the Shirley Library. And um, this is the post office that I've been using to send my Major Key Physiques orders to all of you lovely people who have been ordering um, recently. It's probably been July, August, it's probably been at least two months since I made an update video on Major Key Physiques, telling you guys how things are going, you know, talking about what trials and tribulations I've been going through because there's always, there's always challenges in the world of business but I guess the first thing I want to say is that in the last month of August, we had our best performing month ever. We made the most sales and made the most profit we've ever made as a business in the month of August 2020. And for that to be the case, after you know what this business has gone through, where this business has gone, I've basically carried the whole business on my back you know, <laughs> across the country of Australia and then from Australia back home to New Zealand. Here we are, we're a Christchurch based business and I'm so fucking thankful for that. Now, what I will say is that most of the orders have actually come from New Zealand um, customers. So what that means is that this is real organic, you know, customer, um, you know, customer acquisition. These customers are finding the brand through someone, possibly seeing it on someone, seeing it on social media, seeing it on my YouTube channel, they do say, they do say, and I will say this, I've said this to many people, they do say, I don't know where it's actually come from, it might have been just picked out of the air, but I did hear it from someone, that for someone to trust your business and enough to actually spend money and to actually, you know, purchase something, spend their hard earned money guys. You know, it's not easy getting money from people. I realized that when I started trying to sell cars, I worked for Holden for nine months back in 2012. It was tough. Unless you actually got someone that knew what they wanted, came in, bought it, and was happy with their purchase. You didn't have to do any convincing. And that seems to be the way that Major Kiefer Zeeks has been for the last month, which is fantastic. Going back to what I was saying originally, for, for, for someone, for a random person to be convinced to pay their hard earned money for one of your products, it's going to take on average seven points of contact throughout a certain period of time for them to be convinced enough, to be reminded enough, because we all, for, you know, <laughs> we, see, we see hundreds of different brands every single day and they're all forgotten just like that. So for one to actually stick in your mind enough for you to actually, you know, want to purchase something is, is big. And that happens apparently after seven points of contact. So if we're talking about seven points of contact, that could be seeing it on someone. That could be seeing it on my YouTube channel, like I said, seeing it on Facebook, seeing it on Instagram, being tagged in something, possibly seeing a giveaway, and then finally, maybe, actually going to the website after having all of those seven points of contact, picking out something that I've actually seen in the past, I thought I might actually look good in that, choosing it, buying it, that's it, that's the process. I assume. <laughs> Wowee, the world of online business, the world of online retail, the world of e-commerce. What a world to be involved in. I'm so, so happy I am. You know, I'd wanted to be involved in the world of e-commerce for years, years and years. I just didn't know what product. I, I thought I'd have to, you know, I thought I'd have to develop or, or invent a, a world leading patented product to ever be involved in e-commerce, you know, to ever have a, a product that was going to sell enough. But at the end of the day, I just feel good to be involved. I just feel good to, to have a brand. I feel proud. And I feel proud to have you guys as my supporters as well. So, now, I've basically, <laughs> what I've done is I've rattled off everything I can think of from my brain. And now we've got my book to make sure that I do touch on certain things that I do want to get across. It's been a while guys, it's been six, it's been eight weeks since I made these kind of videos. and. Here we are, it's 7.30 in the morning, there's no one around and I feel good about it. Now, let's go. One exciting thing that didn't happen was 
because I was entering the NZIFBB South Island Championship show, I wanted to be one of the title sponsors. I wanted Major Key Physiques to be a title sponsor. I wanted us to have, uh, you know, a little booth at the show. Um, I wanted us to have our logo on the backdrop for all, from all the stage shots. And I also wanted to provide them in return for that because there was no money that I could provide. All I could provide was products, right? So I've got all these products at home. I wanted to give the competitors a pack of Major Key Physics products each. That was all good to go. Me and Mo had talked, Mo Al Masawi, he's the NZIFBB president. Um, that was about six weeks out from the show. So I sent him an email with a, a breakdown of, of what I could provide as a sponsorship. And unfortunately, um, after you know two or three more emails, I actually never heard anything back. So I still competed in that show as a competitor. I still wore Major Key Physiques backstage. He saw it, he saw it, I know you saw it Mo. But you didn't say anything, but that's fine. You might have forgotten. But anyway, so Major Key Physiques, I tried to get involved as a sponsor, as a bodybuilding show, it just didn't happen. But I did learn things, you know, and you constantly learn, guys, and if you don't ask, you don't get. So if I wanted to push and push, I probably could have got Major Key Physiques in the prize packs. Um, but I didn't. I didn't push. I was, fo I was focusing on my own show, and I knew that Mo had a whole heap to deal with, you know, and, and at the end of the day, I didn't even know if this show was going to be on. So once again, thank you so much to Mo for continuing to promote bodybuilding in New Zealand throughout COVID-19 because um, you've done a fantastic job and not, not many other people would have. You know, he's taken a massive financial hit and all I can say is what a legend, what an absolute legend. So I, t I attempted to, to, to have our first actual title sponsorship, didn't happen. Um, but what I did do is connect with a few local athletes here in, in Christchurch and that's something that I, I, I knew I was going to do. Um, it didn't take me long after arriving back here, you know, as soon as the gym opened up, as soon as I, I joined up at Snap Fitness, um, I started getting to know people, I started to network, you know, and if anyone was interested in the brand and they thought that they might be able to use something in the gym, I'd, I'd give it to them. So a couple of people, two or three local people, um, local athletes, uh, you know, I've, I've given out some stuff and they've shared it and that may be where some of these orders are coming from. You never know guys, you never know. You never know. You've got those seven points of contact you need to reach people with. It's like, just keep doing it. Keep putting stuff out there, keep networking, keep giving freebies out. I don't care about giving free stuff away as long as they're going to use it. I, I could not care less. I want to give stuff away to the right people. Anyway. So I'm going to talk about what I want to do as far as expanding the brand in the future. Um, this is going to be the final, you know, final piece of the talk and it's all exciting stuff but it all costs money and it all takes time. So basically um, I'm currently in contact with a local manufacturer here in Christchurch. Uh, my manufacturers for, for the products have been in Melbourne, Pakistan and China. I want to bring all of that back home. We're a New Zealand based bodybuilding and fitness brand. We're getting more and more New Zealand orders coming through. I want to be based in New Zealand. I want our manufacturers to be here in Christchurch. I want to be able to go and visit them. I want to be able to look at fabrics. I want to be able to look at, look at fits, stitching, embroidery, labeling, everything. I want to be able to see it in person, make changes if need be. And uh, I want to develop that relationship. So we're currently doing that. I don't have a, I don't have a, a name for you just yet, but I will. Uh, it's going to be really exciting, and, and hopefully be able to um, bring, you know, behind the scenes sort of vlog stuff of a clothing and bodybuilding business. And hopefully that content will go well. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. As well as that, I do want to bring workout content to this channel. We have three sponsored athletes. We've had them for over a year. They are myself, Jacob McDonald. I am a competitive bodybuilder now. I can call myself that and I can also call myself a sponsored athlete. We've got Darren Onakawa. He is one of New Zealand's most successful bodybuilders. He's a professional bodybuilder and he's sponsored by us. Great guy. Our third sponsored athlete is Rebecca. She is in the North Island. She's a natural athlete. She is a grandmother, but you wouldn't know it She's another absolutely fantastic person, fantastic human being, and uh, that is our third of three sponsored athletes. So we've got myself, we've got Darren, and we've got Rebecca. Now there's a couple of others that I've
been in talks with and if they ever did want to officially come on board as a sponsored athlete I would happily welcome them in. They are natural athletes, they're natural bodybuilders, uh, both women and men and um, you know if I had to say specifically a kind of niche that I, I, I wanted to target as far as sponsorships it would be your natural athletes, you know your drug free athletes. But with that in mind um, Darren is 145 kilograms at 5 foot 10 and he's certainly not natural. Well he is now actually but he hasn't been in the past. He's not a, he's not a lifetime natural athlete. So anyway guys, anything goes, at the end of the day I want to build a team of great people. I want to build a team of great humans that love training, that are dedicated to their training and nutrition but are great people as well. And I think I've got that so far. So, we can only move forward from here. There's one, one other thing that I was just about to forget, which is not only do we want a new manufacturer, but we want a new product. So we will be bringing out a new product in time for Christmas. This will be officially our second drop, I guess you could say. Our first drop was you know, back in March of 2019. That was this whole range of products that we've got out now. I haven't added any products to the range, although I've had so many good ideas. It's just I've had no money. So here we are coming, you know, towards Christmas. Um, regardless of what it is, I want a tracksuit. It may be something smaller, but we will have a new product in time for Christmas to hopefully, you know, build that, that hype again and um, get you guys back on board. We will be having giveaways. You can look out for them. As always, follow Major Keepers Eggs on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. I will be bringing workout videos to the Mage Keepers X YouTube channel in future. You know how you see all these supplement companies, right? They have YouTube channels, they have their products, but the content that they bring to the YouTube channel is around their sponsored athletes, and I cannot wait to be bringing that content. I'm down here in Christchurch, all the athletes are actually up in the North Island. If they were here locally, I'll tell you right now, man, there'll be so much content coming out, but it's not just yet, but it will happen. It will happen. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for your support. Everyone who's ordered a Major Keepers X product since we opened in March 2019, that's 18 months ago. I want to say thank you so much. The business is still here. We shut down for six months at the start of this year, but I had faith, and I know you guys did too, that we were going to open it again. We're here. I'm proud of my products. I'm proud of the people involved in this brand. Let's do this. Peace out guys, I'll see you in the next one. Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane is quite go get it like me. Wow, please don't be wasting my time.